Before I went through this whole upgrade process, I was driving around at about 35 miles per hour top speed. And right now I can only go 20 miles per hour top speed in my uh, first test run. And I think most of that has to deal with the, uh, the throttle. So, uh, I think there's two issues potentially. When that accelerator is all the way down, I don't think the throttle in the pop box is pushed down all the way. So this guy's probably saying, okay, you're, you don't want to go full speed, you just want to go half speed. So that's pretty much what I'm running into. Uh, the other thing is maybe uh, this guy is limiting the amps supplied to the motor. I need to connect to the motor controller and look at its settings and see if I can configure something. Uh, I did download some software from the, the manufacturer they say it only runs on Windows 8 and 10, and this is a Windows 7, and it actually is running, so I'm gonna see if I can actually connect to it. The USB cable will go in right there. So as a precaution, I just turned the power off to everything. It's a bit awkward, but it's not, it's not easy to pull the controller out of the car. <laughs> So that's why I need a, a laptop. It's installing driver software. Click here for details. There we go, the all tracks toolkit version three. There we go. All right, all right. So what do we got here? So max motor amps, holy smokes, 200 amps. We're gonna set to 330. Throttle settings. Monitor. So I've got the uh, monitor running with the Ultrax software. And although the, the power is off in the car, I think the, uh, the USB will let me actually monitor the throttle. No, it's not. All right. So this should be reverse. Uh, and it says off. Back wheels are jacked up. I'm gonna turn on the power. Tell it to go in reverse. This guy says he's not in reverse yet. Let's at least move the wheels and see what happens. Uh, not so good news if he thinks the throttle is already down 100%. Wait a minute. Does it reset every time I turn the power off and on? I'm going to have to take this for a test drive and find out. Uh, it's almost three. I don't know if I want to drive out in the middle of the night. When I, when I press the throttle all the way to 100%, the car is slowly accelerating, and I think that's really due to this throttle right here being at 12.5%. So I'm gonna bump that up. Now the documentation I had showed that there was some kind of turf mode at the bottom of this. I don't see anything like that. I just see this peak amp mode. But I think that throttle was why it was accelerating so slowly. Okay, so everything went as well as it could. We always have little hiccups. I was gonna test going around the neighborhood and I did, I, the acceleration was much better. Uh, I got up to 20 miles per hour really quick. So the, uh, the throttle percentage uh, for accelerating was definitely the issue. After I took it around the neighborhood, I went to uh, see if I could get above 20 miles per hour and just floor it. So I went out on the uh, the road a little bit. I was doing pretty good and I was like, okay, well, it's such a great day. I'm gonna take Teddy down to the uh, the town square. He got some uh, ice cream at CNC uh, ice cream store. Then we uh, we went to I Want Candy and we just enjoyed the, uh, the walk downtown. Then we went ahead and drove up to McDonald's and then the drive back we had a lot of issues. And uh, the, apparently what was happening is the main contactor wasn't being activated. At one point I actually took uh, a turn off the main road 
I was going up a little hill and a police officer was right behind me and he just drove on around me. <laughs> the accelerator would come back and I didn't know why it would come back. If maybe something was resetting with the motor controller. What ended up happening is these two wires on the throttle, those were coming off. I brought these alligator clips. I was able to use these to determine where the problem was. Uh, I was able to activate the switch in the back, so I knew it was something in the front. But yeah, once I got that set up, I knew, okay, I know I, know I can get out of here now. Once I, once I started getting everything fixed, I realized my speedometer wasn't turning on. <laughs> what I had found out is I had blown the fuse. This was for 15 amps. This is a 20 amp fuse now. But yeah, it's just so much time just trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, a lot of troubleshooting. My fries are really cold, so Teddy doesn't mind. Yeah, he loves French fries. <laughs>